we want to describe the transformation and graph the given sine function. Notice how the given sine function is in this form here. Let's begin by identifying the values of c, a, b, and d. c is equal to positive one. a is equal to negative three because of the subtraction. b is equal to pi over three. And now we need to be careful about the sine of d. Notice how we have x minus d in parentheses here, and we have x plus four. We need to remember that x plus four is equivalent to x minus negative four, and therefore d is negative four. So if we have addition, d is negative. If we have subtraction, d is positive. And now to begin, c indicates a vertical translation, a vertical shift, and since c is positive one, the function is translated or shifted up one unit. Because the function is shifted up one unit, so is the midline, and therefore the midline is y equals one. And let's go ahead and sketch this on the graph. y equals positive one is this horizontal line here, one unit above the x-axis. The absolute value of a is equal to the amplitude, in our case, the absolute value of a is equal to the absolute value of negative three, which is three, and therefore the amplitude is three. However, because a is negative or less than zero, the graph is reflected across the midline. Two pi divided by b is equal to the period, so two pi divided by b is equal to two pi divided by pi over three which is equivalent to two pi times the reciprocal of pi over three, which is three over pi. Simplifying before multiplying, notice the pi's simplify to one, giving us two times three, which is six. The period is six. And then finally, D indicates a phase shift, also called a horizontal translation, a horizontal shift, because D is negative four, the graph is shifted left, the absolute value of negative four units are shifted left four units. So because the graph is shifted left four units and we normally graph the basic sine function starting at x equals zero, let's sketch a vertical line at x equals negative four, which is here. And then because the period is six units, Let's sketch another vertical line, six units to the right, which is x equals two. So now we'll have the graph of one period of the given sine function over this interval. Next, let's divide this interval into four equal subintervals. So we'll cut it in half, which is here at x equals negative one, and then we'll cut these two subintervals in half here, as well as here. Notice one fourth of the period is equal to 1.5 units. And since the amplitude is positive three, and we know the midline is y equals one, one plus three is four, the maximum function value is four, and then one minus three is negative two, negative two is the minimum function value. From here, we know in graphing the basic sine function over one period, the pattern is midline, maximum, midline, minimum, midline. But because our a value is negative, we do have a reflection across the midline. And therefore, for our graph, the pattern will be midline, minimum, midline, maximum, and midline. So going back to our graph, starting at x equals negative four, we'll have a point on the midline, which is here. And then because of the reflection across the midline, the next point will be a minimum here, back to the midline, then a maximum, and then back to the midline. Here's the graph of one period of the given sine function. Before we graph more of a function, let's complete the statements above. The first statement involves the phase shift or horizontal shift, which we know is left four units to answer this question though, 
we just enter the value of d, which is negative 4. Because d is negative, we know the shift is going to be left. Next, the translation of the ordered pair 0, 0 is what point in our graph. Remember, 0, 0 was the first point we graph on the basic sine function. And for our graph, because we had a phase shift, the first point we plotted was this point here, where the ordered pair is negative 4, 1. This point corresponds to the point 0, 0 on the basic sine function, and therefore we enter negative 4, 1. And notice how this point is on the midline, so we state which is on the midline. Next, the period is 6 units. 1 fourth of the period is 1 fourth of 6. 1 fourth of 6 is 1 fourth times 6, which is 6 fourths or 3 halves, which is equal to 1.5, which we can also see from our graph. Notice how we have a vertical line every 1 fourth of the period, which is every 1.5 units. So we can enter 3 halves or 1.5. For the last statement, the point that is one-fourth of the period to the right of the phase shift would be this low point here, which has an ordered pair of negative 2.5 comma negative 2, offering one to negative 5 halves comma negative 2. Which, because it's a low point, we classify as a minimum. Before we go, let's sketch more of the graph. Let's sketch another vertical line, 1.5 units to the right of x equals 2, which would be here at x equals 3.5. Following the same pattern, notice how we will be back down to a minimum here, and therefore the graph would look something like this. I hope you found this helpful.